Hi, in this episode I will build something rare and try easy camouflage painting mask methods. As you can see on the top of the box, this kit is from 2008. But there is another story behind that. Actually, this is a Tree Master. Tree Master was a Japanese model company who released multimedia scale model kits in late 80s. Their kits was consist with tons of photo etch, white metal casting, resin parts and high quality plastic parts. Of course, according to the technology of the 80s. When Tree Master closed in early 19s, Dragon Model bought their molds and re-released their kits, except metal and resin parts. Instead of missing metal and resin parts, Dragon produced its own molds and replaced with, uh, these parts with plastic ones and also simplified the PE threads. Anyway, here we are and let's get started. I heard that there are some deformations in the Tree Master kits that Dragon boxed. Luckily, this copy is in pretty good condition. Careful cutting and cleaning is required as the connections are very thick. Keep your mind that this kit is from 80s. Before start to building the cockpit, I need to fix and assemble some things. The first one is this. Second one is the exhaust pipes not fit properly. Of course, the exhaust pipes need to be drilled. The landing gear bay area looks a little bit problematic. I'm going to build it first to see if there is any problem like warping and tilting on the wings. Well, the wings are past the test. I can continue to the build. Since some part of the engine will be visible under the fuselage, I roughly built the engine. And, of course, 30mm cannon and its mount. The clear parts not look promising. Let's try to fix with some polishing compounds and modeling wax. Yes, it's better now. According to instructions recommendation to glue this part after closing the fuselage is must be a joke. Because it's impossible. I will glue it before that. Anyway, let's start to build the cockpit. Not much things to do here. I'm going to add the PE belts and a few plastic pieces and that's it. I can apply the primer.
Before applying the cockpit color, I mask the all clear parts, because I will apply the same color on them. I'm painting the remaining details with brush. Gloss varnish before the weathering wash. Highlighting the details with the grey colored pencil and blending the effect with brush. and the glass effect. The cockpit details are quite good, but with this assembly approach that's pretty hard to align everything properly. Yes, I'm fixing this piece to its place right now. Fixing the engine and the cannon. Now I can close the fuselage hulls. I'm gluing the fuselage hulls step by step carefully. I fixed an adjustment height problem on the wing roots like this. Let's fix the wings to the fuselage. The left fuselage half smaller than the right half approximately 0.2 mm. Yes, that's the deformation of my copy. No big deal. Life is easy with Tamiya white putty and 3M sanding sponges. Let's complete the assembly.
The interior of this aircraft is unpainted except for the cockpit. I'm painting these areas with aluminum paint. I will use this method on this model as in the last model I built. I'm pleased with the result on RLM 76 especially. This primer is quite resistant against the Tamiya wash. After wiping the excess wash with turpentine, I am applying highly diluted paint to the model within multiple coats. As you can see, some random shades appear each layer I apply. This camouflage is a little bit challenging and my time is running out. I only have 4 days left to post the video. Then, let's get some help. I apply the other colors with the same way, but faster with help of this material. Of course, some fixes are needed. That's enough for now. I'm applying the gloss varnish before the decals. But before that I need to paint some panel under the wings with metallic paint. Glossy surface is quite handy to get metal shine. The kids 14 years old decals are just fine. But work a number is missing and I realize that at this point. Well done dragon. I'm going to complete this without the number. Let's apply the models. After applying the flat varnish layer, I am painting the exhaust pipes first. I completed the post jet weathering on this wing. Let's apply the same effect to the other wing. The decal colors are so bright, I need to apply fade effect.
and dust effect on the tires with the same mixture. After applying the chipping effect, now I can apply post-shade weathering to the fuselage. These needles are perfect for MG barrels, but safety first. Okay, let's complete the model. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked the video, please like and share. Subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Also, you can support my channel if you can see the join button below or on Patreon. The links are in the information section below. See you soon on the next episode. Until then, take care yourself and keep modeling. Bye.